and some standpoint, just that fourth quarter just seemed like everything started to snowball and the turnovers and then just kept scoring. From your take, just what, what happened that fourth quarter? You know, we just got to be better. We got to uh, be able to come out in the fourth quarter and uh, shut the door. I think it was a seven point game going into the fourth, and we got to. Uh, Keep a seven-point game and let our offense go down there and score. We can't, we can't let them score. And if our offense does turn it over, we got to be able to stop them. We got to be able to uh, keep the momentum in our in our swing. So that's really the main key. Okay, I mean, like it's a seven-point game and going into the fourth. You got to feel good about that. And then, then it gets away. So it's like the fact that you kept it close to three, or is it even more hard? It's hard thing you lost the way you did because it was close and then it slipped away. What's, what's your... Um, it's a loss. Any loss, it doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter if it's three point, seven point. Uh, goes down as an L. So it doesn't matter if it's three quarters. That's why they, that's why they make it four quarter game. Uh, so that's really the main thing is we got to uh, come out next week against UC Davis and we got to show them who we really are. Coming in, I know you guys knew they had some weapons on offense. How did they kind of stack up to what you were preparing for? Uh, you know, they were, they were all the, what we thought they were. Uh, you know, uh, I feel like we didn't show what we needed to show. But, I mean, Nebraska's a great team. And, uh, you know, we just got to be able to come out there and play better than what we did. Because Tommy uh, Armstrong threw the ball a heck of a lot more than I think he did last week. Did yep. you the uh, You know, they tried to run it early in the game. and. Uh, there wasn't there wasn't much to, uh, uh we stopped the run pretty good so I feel like they I mean that's really what happened they started throwing it a little more and uh, you know I just think I don't know if that was the game plan for them coming in but I feel like they were going to try to uh, throw it a little bit more but you know they had a lot of screens and stuff and that stuff's on on uh, front seven also so. Embo is kind of the ground and pound, run the clock out type of offense. When your offense has to pass the ball more and you guys spend a little more time on the field, is that tougher for you guys? No, because I believe in uh, anything our offense does. I believe in Josh. I know he's going to, uh, I know he's hurting right now, but I know he's going to come back next week with fire underneath him. And he's going to, he's going to come out with a, uh, with great intensity next week, that's why he's one of our captains. You know, he's a leader in this team, and that's, uh, it's easy to be a captain when when you're winning. Uh, it's a little different uh, uh, when you're losing. So that's the guys that they'll look up to, and I know Josh can do a great job next week in practice by leading us. So. Would you say anything as a fellow captain yourself to say anything to him to help him bounce back, words of encouragement or anything like that, or is that necessary? Uh, you know, me and Josh are good friends, so uh, I believe that he's he's going to go up and uh, go out next week and show what he really can do. And yeah, well, I mean, we'll talk a little bit, but I know he's going to get the offense right. Just from a, from a physical standpoint, man on man, how did you feel you matched? I know it was 24-17 going into the fourth, so you had to feel good about where the game was at that point. It's still winnable, but throughout the four quarters, in terms of their physical physicality versus your physicality, their offense versus your defense. I felt fine. I felt like we were we were there uh, in many aspects of the game with the run game and uh, when they were running the ball. I felt like I, th I think they had 100 yards rushing. So I think that uh, 100 and something, I guess 110 or something. But I feel like we were there on the ground and pound, and that's where the physicality comes in. Uh, the front seven versus their front seven. So I feel like we were there, and uh, Coach Bowles doing a great job with uh, working with this team to get us where we do need to be. Focus a little bit more uh, lack of focus or frustration that kind of got you guys in that first quarter, maybe lack of execution. What was it that kind of led to that fourth quarter? Yeah, uh, probably. Uh, I don't know really how to answer that one, but uh, I'd say you know we just got to go out there and when times are tough, we got to be able to stand up as a defense. And uh, uh, personal foul on me, which wasn't. Uh, didn't need to happen, and uh, I take full responsibility of that. And you know, I just feel like uh, I, as personal, need to need to step that up and uh, become a leader. Are you encouraged by that run defense through two weeks? I know you guys were at a similar number, about around 100 against Northern Illinois as well. Yeah, I mean, I feel I feel confident with the run game, but we have a bunch of things we need to work on this week against UC Davis. They're a good team, and uh, I think we we need to go out there and show uh, the people in Wyoming what we're made of. Good. Thank you.